Dejeuner from BitDev, and we're going to tell you about the future of music streaming. Um, hi, I'm Dejeuner from BitDev, and I'm here to talk to you about the future of our music streaming service. Um, for our um, re secondary research, we looked at two different uh, music streaming um, companies and how they compare to um, how our one is going to look. So, um, Spotify is a music service that allows you to browse and listen to your favourite music. It has over 6 million users and 15 subscribers. It's available in over um, 58 countries and um, has features such as student discounts and premium discounts. Uh, the other company that we looked at is SoundCloud, which allows um, anyone to upload and share their music so they can um, share it pr um, privately or publicly. Um, you can also subscribe and um, they have features such as 30 day trials and have over a thousand downloads per, um, per track. I'm going to pass you on to um, Jordan. Originally just talked about um, our competitors, so now I'm going to talk about primary research. For example, in order to find out data that was specific to our product and our aim, we created a focus group. And what we had done, we had put one of the members of our team in there so he could have an outlook and comparison to the audience. So for example, here it is. So in this focus group, we asked questions such as which genre of music. So this is our competitor, Tommy. And then we have other people, members of the public, and we discussed what was valuable and so how much could they pay. So yeah, okay, to the next slide. Um, I'm gonna pass you back on to David. Um, so another part of our um, primary research that we carried out um, what I did was questionnaires, and I, in which I answered a series of questions in which in what people feel about music streaming services. So here are some of the questions that I used. So for example, um, how much would people normally pay for music streaming services? I found that over 60% would pay less than two pounds. When we were looking at market research, we discovered that a lot of people were subscribed to like Spotify, and Tidal and everything else. So what we did is we took the research from them, we kind of benefited it to our own company. So we kind of almost built up our company into like a, a tower, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna pass you on to Jordan now. An existing company that I'm gonna be talking about is Tidal. And they were launched by Jay-Z, so it has a lot of celebrity backing. But their main key is hi-fi sound with clear fidelity. And also what they try to use in their streaming services exclusive content for example the life of pablo was um kanye's recent most recent album and it was so blown out of proportion like because no one could get it only if you had title so loads of people had subscribed to title for that so what they run off is an exclusive sort of content so loads of people would be interested because of that but i'm going to pass you on to kenny and he's going to talk about um itunes and how they have exclusive content for example with drake so i'll pass you on to him now Hi, I'm Kenny. I'm what's called. I'm analyze what's called iTunes because iTunes is basically for the people, and with iTunes it pairs you up with different types of artists like Drake, Chris Brown, Jay Z, all of them, anything that you like. So, whatever you feel, iTunes will have it. It's all about the um, consumers. So, um, on iTunes there's something called Connect, which allows you to connect with your artists such as Drake, um, to find out where, where he is in the world, chat to him about his new um, upcoming songs, um, what's it called, they even give you new updates on um, new releases, tracks from your favourite artists or what you've chosen to um, what you've chosen to add for your favourites in iTunes. iTunes is also kind of broad and how they get the money is through I iTunes itself, the store, and they have their own games and videos, music videos and all that stuff. Um, what's it called? 
iTunes also does a thing where they do individual paying and group paying, which is individually is eight pound ninety nine for yourself, or if you want to do group access, that would be fourteen pound ninety nine. So that's something we as BitDev is looking for to use for ourselves. Alright, thank you. I'm pass you. We have been BitDev. Thanks, Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. BitDev.